talk about being possessive? I feel like I'm possessive, but I learned that I cannot be that way. And I shared that um, I was listening to a podcast that Lauren London did about the passing of Nipsey. And she was saying that basically God allows you to borrow people. They're, They're not yours to have. So do good with the time that he gives you with that person, love that person, cherish that person, because when they're gone, when God God calls them back, you know, it's nothing you can do. They were never yours. They were, they were a loner. So once I heard that, it really changed my perspective on how I love people and how I try not to hold them so, so, so tight. Like you have to give your partner especially room to breathe and to grow because one thing I learned is like we're this way now but a year from now I could be a totally different person I may have different dreams different goals and aspirations so you have to give people a little room to grow because we're not going to be the same yeah absolutely absolutely I think uh um and like before you even get married, I believe that you got to find out if the if your partner at least have the it don't have to be the same goals, mm-hmm. but at least something that hey that that's that's where I'm trying to go. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna pass that on my way to mine. Mm. So that's cool. At least I know. Yeah, on the way we'll stop there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think that's important that people do that because. I think some people don't even have that conversation. I think they they don't yeah they don't even have that don't even get brought up before they even get married. They just get married and then they find out be like oh shit you don't want a mansion you want a condo or apartment mm-hmm. and then you like shit I want two kids you like well I don't want to like these like those things have to be talked about before. You get married, or yeah, before you get married. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't think we have. I don't think our culture does that a lot. I think they figure it out at the end and be like, "Oh shit, this ain't it." I feel like two things can be true. Like that, what you said is absolutely true. But just speaking from my experience being married, people really do change. So at 18, yeah, I I wanted two kids and I wanted to live in a mansion. But now that I'm 30, these kids are expensive. I don't, I don't, now I only want one. Or maybe something happens to my body where I can only have one now. I can't carry any more kids. So that's where the love comes in. That's where the respect comes in. Because your part, things are just going to always be changing and evolving. You have to kind of roll together, grow together, and be able to roll with the punches. Because if your love for me is based on me having two kids and I can't have any more children, then what do we have? Yeah, yeah. If my love for you is based on you giving me a mansion and then you don't have the funds to give me a mansion, now what? Yeah, but I don't, I don't think I was saying like that if, th- if we don't have the same goals that we can't love each other. I'm just saying, hey, Heads up, I don't want to do this. Mm. So if it's an issue for you, mm. okay, we could just be friends or we could just be a couple. We don't have to get married. Yeah. You know, or whatever. I don't, I don't think the love, if, if, if that's the case, then the person doesn't love you at all, mm-hmm. didn't love you in the mm-hmm. first place. That's you know very saying? true. That's very true. I think that's what happens. Like you find that you love me for this thing and not just for who I am at the core. Facts. Because I think that's a conversation that we had. Like, I was asking you, like, why do you love me? And I was like, I always wanted someone to tell me things that they love about me that had nothing to do with what I did for them. That talk. Like, that was a tough question. Yeah, because I was just like, hmm, oh, you love that I do this, that, and the third. What's going to happen if I can't do those things anymore? Where, where do the love go then? So I think once you learn to love a person just for their heart, their spirit, like nothing else, 
you know, matters because all those things will fade, may not happen. You just never know. So mm-hmm. again, that conversation about that has to ha- be had mm-hmm. before you uh, get into, you know, the dun 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 part. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 